Welcome to Otto's Tales. Story time brought to you by Prep, Prager U's resources for educators and parents. And hey, where's Otto? <gasps> there you are. <laughs> I'm Jill, and today I'm going to tell you a tale about a little boy who couldn't tell a lie. It's called George Washington and the Cherry Tree, based on Mason Locke Weems' imaginative story about George Washington, our first president. Once upon a time, there was a little boy named George, and he lived on a farm in a state called Virginia with his family. His dad taught him how to ride horses and how to be a farmer. Now, Mr. Washington, George's dad, planted an orchard of all sorts of beautiful fruit trees, apple trees, peach trees, pear trees, plum trees, and cherry trees. One day, George's dad got a gift sent to him from across the ocean. It was a special kind of cherry tree. He added it to his orchard and told everyone on the farm to watch it very carefully to make sure that it would not be broken or harmed in any way. It grew and grew and was soon covered with pretty white blossoms. George's dad was excited to soon see all the cherries that would grow on that tree. About this time, little George was given a shiny new tool called a hatchet, a very popular gift for boys back then. George was eager to use it <laughs> to chop sticks, fences, and whatever else needed chopping on his family's farm. <laughs> One day, George was making his way through his father's orchard, came upon the new cherry tree, and, thinking about how well his hatchet could cut, chopped into the tree. In fact, he chopped it right down. He went on with his playing, not realizing that this was the same tree his father loved so much. That night, George's dad walked through his orchard and discovered his favorite tree chopped down to the ground. He stood surprised and disappointed. Who would have dared to do such a thing? He asked everyone on his farm, but no one knew anything about how or why his favorite new tree was destroyed. Mr. Washington then asked George, Do you know who chopped down my cherry tree? His voice was angry. George gulped. He was scared, but he looked straight into his dad's eyes. I cannot tell a lie, he said. I did it with my hatchet. Mr. Washington took a deep breath. Why did you do it, son? Why did you chop down my tree? I, I, was, I was playing and I, I did not think. George stumbled on his words. He was disappointed in himself and he knew he had disappointed his dad too. He hung his head. I'm sorry, father. George's dad put his hand on George's shoulder. George, he said, I'm sorry to have lost my tree, but I'm proud of you for being brave and telling the truth. That means more to me than a whole orchard of cherry trees. Little George never forgot that, and he spent the rest of his life acting with courage and honor, just as he did that day as a little boy. The end. We love this tale, not only because it's a fun story about our first president, George Washington, but because it teaches us that being honest sometimes means having to be brave. Courage and honesty might be the most important values we can learn. America was created thanks to brave people who believed in truth, and it's up to us to continue to be brave with our friends, our school, and in our communities. Hey, Otto. Do you promise to have courage and tell the truth, even when you're scared? <laughs> Good boy! <laughs> Thank you for watching Otto's Tales. Check out some of our other stories, too. Keep reading, keep watching, and keep being honest and brave. See you next time. We're so glad you joined us for today's reading. Storytime is made possible through the generous support of donors like you. You can help keep the stories coming by going to PragerU.com slash donate today.